I'm on the plane on my way to Detroit. Welcome aboard so American from Airlines. Dallas, I'll go to Chicago. And then from Chicago, I'll go to Detroit. So Small, I'll see you all when I get off the, the plane box. again. If you need assistance. Okay, y'all. So we went to this event and it was supposed to be a brunch thing. And we got there. Tell me why all the food was gone or the kitchen was backed up. So they decided that they didn't want to make us any food. And so I was kind of upset. But then we found this really nice place and it's seafood. And y'all know I don't eat red meat. So I'm really happy. And they just brought out bread. And you should have seen all of our faces when we saw this bread. We got so excited. Um, I'm eating with some of my friends that I met. We're all roommates too. And we have a cute little Airbnb. I'll show y'all what it looks like whenever I get back. But I'm about to show y'all the bread and the food because I know you want to see it. Oh, they y'all. <laughs> No, I'm real bougie though. Why don't you on your bread yet? Because she's grabbing it. I have seafood gumbo. We already got our gumbo though. Okay, y'all. I know you can't see me and you probably can't hear me, so I might have to do a voiceover. But we're at the concert for the under 30 um, summit. And. 21 Savage, Normani, and Chainsmokers are performing. So I'm super excited. Uh, I've not been doing very good today vlogging because I don't feel good. And I'll probably say this again in this vlog. Y'all, I feel so sick. And when I'm sick, I'm not like a nice person to be around because I just don't feel good. And I don't want to be around people. I just want to sit down and lay down. So I took some medicine. I'm feeling a little bit better, but I still don't feel that good, y'all.
downstairs right now to take headshots um i almost missed two steps and that would have been my knees again but um anyway <laughs> we're going to take headshots in this little place so i'm really excited i'm about to turn the camera around but i just want to say hello and i'm turning blue y'all look That was started by um, the one of the people that works in Forbes, and his name is Taylor Culliver. And so basically, you're building a brother box, and you pick these things that's in line. Basically, building a box to make life better for African American um, middle school and high school boys as they go through school. I'm making one of these boxes because I want to help their lives be better. So I'm filling it with all kinds of stuff. And I'm really excited, so I'm going to show you all the stuff that goes in the boxes. Well, I love investing and I always felt like I've always invested in myself and in my career and my whole life has been investing in myself and so 2% of um, VC money was going to female founders and even less to women and people of color. So I thought, well, that's, well, that's what I need to do. I need to start supporting um, more companies like that. And we have to have accountability for ourselves and our communities first. I think the next piece is, as people of color walk, we're always searching for what's better. The grass is green on the other side. We need somebody to lead us. We need somebody to save us. Come help us. Help yourselves. Take yes, stand in your power. That's something to fight for. Because we, we all have accountability and, and we all can shift the world if we want to and we can educate ourselves we have tools as well we have social media stripping power just as one community has so it is important to not fall into those traps and one of the best ways to avoid those people is through education we should hold the mission that's the fundamental thing we need to be focusing on so i'm not here to tell you about your trap I'm here to tell you, let's think about tactical ways we can get into home ownership so we can pay that common and use financial access and improve the development. Yes, I love this accent. You know how people in the front row heard me? I said, you do that have multiple streams of income, you are calculating backwards. Especially for people of color, especially for black people in this room who are routinely underpaid, undervalued, devalued, and disrespected in the workplace. Being in both spots, I learned so much about, you know, just the location and where I was. You know, never being in, in Oklahoma City before and not knowing what the major resources there was and, and meeting so many different people that was involved in business in, in, in Oklahoma City from my ownership group and people that came to our games. It was just a different, it was just a different, you know, level, different crowd when I went to San Francisco, you know, being able to be around the tech crowd. Being around okay, y'all, so this is the Startup Hub. It's really, really cool. They have like different people that have like businesses and they have their little businesses set up.
the Motown Studio A, and I just took a tour of the museum, but you can't take video or picture, and the other parts, this is the only place that you can. So I just want to show y'all how amazing this all is. Okay, y'all, this is the best tour I've ever been on in my life, and she's the best tour, guys. She's so energetic, it's wonderful. Yvonne, Yvonne. Follow me on Instagram. I'm just for Okay. Hey guys. So this is the final video in the Detroit 30 Under 30 Scholar vlog. Um, I'm about to board my plane from Charlotte to Oklahoma City, so I'm gonna be home by 11. I'm so ready to be home. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you saw some things that inspired you because I definitely did. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I love you so much and see you next time. Bye.